Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a delicious smoothie for you. It's easy, you can make it with just two ingredients. It's creamy and you can make it keto if that's your thing. Remember to like and subscribe and let's get into it. Mmm, you can even drizzle a bit of coconut milk on the top. If you're going quick, simple and easy, we'll start with the two ingredients version. For that you'll need a blender. You'll need some frozen black currants and this little beauty here, creamed coconut or coconut cream in a box. It's nice and thick. You can see here how it looks like if it's been in the fridge. It's nice and thick, solid, creamy, which is what we want. We're not going to refrigerate this one. This one is straight from the cupboard. And this is also your keto version. If it's a smoothie for one, you can feel free to go ahead and take about one cup of black currants, make sure they're nice and frozen, and put them straight into your blender. Black currants are really high in antioxidants and vitamin C especially, and really good for eye health, gut health, kidney health, blood flow, and the immune system, and many other things. Makes your skin look really nice, <laughs> and it's just very good for your health. Apart from vitamin C, it also has vitamin E, it has some B vitamins, and also vitamin A. What's very interesting is that it has a very similar effect to honey, given it is antiviral, antiseptic, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and it can help fight infections. So have these babies in your diet. <laughs> it's a good idea to have them in your diet. Ingredient number two is uh, this beautiful coconut cream. This is great if you're on a keto diet because it's pretty high in fat. If you're trying to avoid too much fat, then you can always add just a little bit of this and a bit of water, but it won't be as creamy. And again, make sure your black currants are frozen. Tastes a lot better. <laughs> Mmm, look at this. Nice and creamy. This carton is 250 ml. We can add half a carton in there. <laughs> if you like, if you want to go all out, you can add the whole thing, but that's going to be quite a bit of fat. <laughs> Just, you know, heads up. So if you prefer, you can dilute it with a bit of water. And that's that. That's your keto version. That's your two ingredient version. You would put the lid on and blend it up. Now we're going to do version number two, which is if you don't really care too much about keto and you'd like to add a little bit more carbs in there. We've got some frozen bananas. I have peeled them and chopped them up and then put them in a little bag and in the freezer. The quantities are pretty much up to you. I like to have a little bit more black currants in there. So I'll probably just add one or two pieces of banana. Maybe three. <laughs> Maybe add three uh, or, and add a bit more black currants and then it's going to be a huge smoothie all to myself. <laughs> Not complaining about that. <laughs> and instead of water, feel free to use milk. You can use any milk you like. I'm going to use the one that I have. You can use coconut milk. This is oat milk. Use whichever milk. Give it a little shake. When it comes to quantity, that is totally up to you. Just know that the more you add, the thinner the smoothie and the less you add, the thicker. So it really depends on how you want to have your smoothie. Do you like to have a thin smoothie or do you like to have a nice thick smoothie? I'm going to add a little drizzle. I like mine pretty thick, but not too thick. So I've got about a quarter cup in there at the moment. And what you can do as well, is you can always add a tiny bit of fluids first to blend it up and then add as you go. So you can start with a thick version and then thin it down if you need to. That's it. Let's put the lid on and let's blend it up. Oh, mm. look at that color. Look how beautiful and it's nice and creamy lovely antioxidants <laughs> perfect for a summer day a winter day perfect for any time it's just like a nice little health boost and it's so so easy and so quick let's top it off with some little toppings and obviously they are optional but it just adds a little bit more of a health boost and a bit of a crunch 
Again, this is completely optional, but I have two toppings here that I really like. One is cacao nibs and the other one is flaxseed. Now you need to chew these flaxseeds really well in order for them to be easily digested. So a lot of people like to grind them up, but for me, it's like I like to just add that little crunch. You can also chop up some walnuts and add them on top, or you can chop up anything else you like. I like when my smoothies have a little bit of a bite to it, a little bit of a crunch, and that's why I like to add toppings to my smoothies. You don't have to, this is completely optional, of course, but it's good for you to know that when you do chew with your smoothie, then it also helps activate your digestive system. It's a way of sending a signal to the brain that you are eating food. <laughs> Is a glass half full or is it half empty? <laughs> it looks pretty empty to me. Hmm, there's still quite a little bit in there. Because I made the smoothie really, really, really creamy, I'm happy to add a little bit of oat milk in there and give it a little shrivel up and then top it up. Oat milk is going in. And just a tiny bit, just enough so that you can give it a little mix around like that. get it all in there there we go wow this is a very very big glass by the way <laughs> another amazing smoothie secret is this here tahini oh if you like a little bit of bitterness in your smoothie then mm -mm -mm. <laughs> try this if you give it a nice mix then you can drizzle it over the top mine is going to be hard so i can't really do that so i'm just going to put splodges in it <laughs> it's probably not going to look very appealing but it's still going to taste really really nice mm. <laughs> little sprinkle of cacao nibs and a little bit of flax seeds and that's it. Mm, you can even drizzle a bit of coconut milk on the top, a little bit more of that creamy coconut milk on the top. I mean, you can do anything, <laughs> anything you like. The base is, is just lovely and it goes with most toppings. So feel free to be a bit creative and put whatever. You can add some black currants on the top. Mm, maybe I'll do that. <laughs> And this is the final result. Yum. Okay, that wasn't two ingredients. Uh, got a bit carried away with this one. <laughs> but it started at two ingredients, so you can choose how elaborate you want the smoothie to, to get. My mouth is watering while I'm speaking because I can't wait to taste this thing. <laughs> it just looks so good. You can start off with two ingredients if you're more of a simple kind of person who just wants to have something quick and simple, tasty and effective, or you can take it all the way up to however many ingredients we use today in this recipe. If you liked this video, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. And from wherever you are watching from in the world, I wish you have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye.